we go any further in this video, let me just announce that my sister has put out a trilogy of videos and I would really appreciate it if y'all stop this video or after the video, go and watch it. She's really putting her heart into what she's doing. I support it, I love it. Go check it out, go subscribe to her, show her some love, all that good stuff and more. Now let's continue with the video. Yes, 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 yes. You can see the appearance is different. It had to be done. I was really just sick and tired of just all of this. Now I look halfway decent. I would say I was about a four. Now I'm about a nice seven. 7.5 on a good day. With some good lighting. How y'all doing? Welcome back to the show. Another music video reaction. I know y'all been waiting on this. This was the most upvoted one on the other Panic videos. So why not? Let's see what they have to offer. This is Drunk History. Which is, you know, the show where people get drunk and they talk about history. And this is the Fall Out Boy edition featuring Brendan Urie, who has a very eerie, similar voice to Patrick Stump. This one I think had like 45 upvotes or something like that. There was another one that had like 22 or 23. I was trying to keep track, but I saw that this one was getting all of the love in the comments. So I figured, let's do that. I thought the debate was funny. So I'm wondering if this is going to be kind of similar to that type of video. And uh, I just hope I enjoy it. Keep the intro short and sweet. Let's just jump into it. Drunk History, Fall Out Boy, featuring Brendan Urie of Panic at the Disco. Summer of 2001. My man's just wasted. He's gone. Like, yo, I know about music. And Patrick's like, yo, I know more about music. That's impossible. Do you want to start a band? And Patrick's like, yeah, that's cool. And then he's like, yo, this is a bookstore. It's not a music store. And then they met at Patrick's house. So Patrick's wearing shorts and socks and a hat. Patrick is playing drums for some fucking reason. And Pete's there for some reason. They start playing music together. And they're like, oh, let's play some fucking covers from some other bands. It was like Green Day and fucking Misfits and fucking Ramones. And Pete said to Joe, yo, we got to change this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we played all these bands. Man, it's just gone. Oh, he is all his so ass right now. And so Patrick are like, "Yo, that's dope, but we need a fucking drummer because Patrick's playing drums and he's a singer." Patrick's like, "Yo, I got a soul voice," and they're like, "Wait, how do you have a soul voice?" And he's like, "Yo, watch this." Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because like, that sounds oh exactly that like, like him. Soul. So they put it in the song. It was like. Where is your boy tonight? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and then they're like, yo, that's fucking perfect. This is Fall Out Boy. Homie oh, spitting up, bro. <laughs> Get it life. together. Eating out with your ex-girlfriend. Eating out with your ex-girlfriend. Everybody loves it. It's called eating out with your girlfriend. With your ex-girlfriend. It's called eating out with your ex-girlfriend. It's called eating out your girlfriend. It's real. And it's real and it doesn't matter. And Pete talked to Patrick and Joe, and he was like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, this is gonna be fucking dope. So they made a record, and it was called Take This To Your Grave. They made it without a drummer. And they had like three, four drummers come in. The four drummers that had come in were like, Josh Freeze, Neil Peart, the dude from Toto. <laughs> the fourth one was like the guy from like Papa Roach or something. Ooh. <laughs> and they're like, yo, we need Andy Hurley. Andy Hurley. Take it to your grave. Man, this is all tatted up. Whoa. And he did it, and he killed it. And he was like, <laughs> killing the skins, tapping the skins, tapping the rim, playing the shit, killing these bitches, rapping it out. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck is going on? We should get Honestly, what the fuck is going on? Because these guys know what the fuck is going on. They were like, yo. If you can make our scene any bigger than it is, which is not fucking hard, <laughs> we will sign you guys. He was like, yo, we got this record that's fucking dumb, dude. It's called Take This To Your It's called From Under The Court Chase, it's gonna be fucking huge. And then Patrick's like, I gotta keep it real, 
I gotta keep it artistic. Because these are three songs that are gonna make the album. It's called. <laughs> this is called. <laughs> the they fell for that. Twenty dollar note. <laughs> and sugar, we're going down. Huge. And they made this record that was fucking dope, and it fucking hit on the charts. Like one, two, three, three, two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 to 1! From Under the Court Tree sold like 4 million records. It's a good 10 album. million records. Mm-hmm. Fact check. 15 million records. And Brendan Neary had nothing to do with the entire record. And Patrick was like, That's good! He was like, Yo, fuck you! I can do whatever I want. Joe was like, Yeah, that's cool, man. Whatever. I don't give a shit. And then Annie was like, eh, cool. <laughs> he was like, makeup is fucking great for a guy because it makes a guy look beautiful. My man's shirt is soaked. What the hell? Is not beautiful. <laughs> and I want to change that. I want to make sure that everybody thinks that guys are beautiful. Cool. Ooh. I'm good so far. Are you though? Yeah, I do. Ooh. I can't do vomit. I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm -mm. Check on dude. For real. Shut the fuck. Get it together, my man. He was like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed about this dick pic. And then I saw the dick pic, and I was like, ah, it's not bad. It's not a bad dick. Let's be real. What? We made Rolling Stone one issue before Fall Out Boy. And Fall Out Boy made the issue right after us. And they were so pissed. They were like, yo, fuck you guys. They were like, yo, Panic has the fucking cover of Rolling Stone. Yo, fuck these dudes. We're going to fucking go miles above. We're going to hit every fucking continent there is known to man. But they didn't. Because they missed... A second of time, apparently, they were like, oh shit, we got every continent. And they didn't actually hit it. Dude, he was like, what the fuck? Oh, you didn't fucking make the continent. Like, fuck you! So, from one of the Cork Street happens, we fucking have three, four years of awesomeness. Like, people are coming on themselves because it's so big. Ooh. Oh, right. oh, so Fall Boy was like, so Patrick's like, yo, we're gonna name these records from more, uh, from Under the Cork Tree and from any of the, from, it's, speak, my dude, <laughs> from Infinity on High. Pete was like, yo, Holy Ado means the theater. Holy Ado, thank you. Wait, no, somebody said that was oh, wrong sorry, too. Sorry. Oh well. Fall Boy I'll was never like, know. yo, we gotta take a break. Meaning, Pete was like, yo, we gotta take a break, bro. And Patrick's like. I need time for my music. Oh! And Joe's like, yo, I need time to find the fucking art, dude. I gotta find some fucking mute metal. Mm -hmm. And Andy's like, who's gonna play with some fucking metal band? <laughs> and they're like, all right, this break's been like three years long, two years long, three years long, three and a half. We gotta fucking come back, man. We gotta come back strong. You took my beer away. What the yeah. fuck? They're trying to save you, my dude. <laughs> We gotta make this shit legit. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be fucking dope. You forgot. It's gonna go I forgot. Sky high. Dude is just all over the place. As is my brain. Sail the skies. We're gonna call this record Save Rock and Roll. So they made it Alone Together. Light them up. Alone Together. Phoenix. And everybody's like, what the fuck? You working with this guy who fucking. Recorded Avril Lavigne and King. What the fuck is this on my shirt? That's all you. Myself? That's all you. Oh, God. Pete was like, yeah, we're going to end up on the tour with Panic of the Disco and 20 Pilots. 20 Pilots? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> and that's all. And that's all that matters. And that's just how the fucking story goes. <laughs> Hey, dude was drunk off his ass, 100%. I laughed, it was enjoyable, it was cool. The whole, yeah. <laughs>
Uh, that's wild. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Very interesting, very comical. Uh, Drunk History has always been a cool show, so that's dope that they did their own version of it. Salute. That's gonna do it for this video reaction. Hope you enjoyed. Like with the others, please upvote the one that you wanna see next. If you want it from Fall Out Boy, if you want it from Panic, or anybody else, honestly. Why do I keep making this? My homie told me this is I love you in sign language, which is really, really cool, if it is. And I trust his opinion, because I know he wouldn't stand me wrong, so I love you. Uh, but yeah, um, like I said, upvote what you wanna see next, and it don't happen. I'm Jared O'Brien, this is The Tune Up. And I'm out. <laughs>